So the seed is the knowledge of Genesis. For when a man has recognized and proved upon himself that in the beginning of anything there is always the word, that all things live by it, that its life is light, and notice here that life, L-I-F-E, and notice that light, L-I-G-H-T, so G-H makes an F sound, right? Like laugh. So th the key here is that life and light are essentially the same thing, but we don't always see it that way. So we're seeding our knowledge right now. Life is light and that the gestation of this light is in darkness, that he knows that his true aim is to awaken and bear this light on the darkness of his body until the resurrection is complete. So this is really philosophical language. The first and most important thing to get here is that all seeds will not germinate. Well, I don't want to say all. There's probably some I don't know about. But in general, seeds won't germinate in light. They all have to be underground. They have to be in darkness. This is nature's way of showing us the way in which we work. We have to be in darkness in order for us to, to germinate. And our bodies as the temple represents this darkness. It's not a bad thing, it's an essential thing. So in order for our psyche to germinate, we have to go into the darkness. We, we have to uncover the parts of ourselves that we don't know yet. And that deconstructive process is, according to Isha Swaller de Lubix, the seed, the actual, this, this is the maneuver we all have to be willing to do is go into the darkness. And I say, use your inner talk, use your inner dialogue in order to navigate that darkness, which is the body, until resurrection is complete. Resurrection is consciousness. Resurrection is going into the darkness, finding something there that you don't know, discovering it, which is bringing light to it, and then embodying it. That's resurrection. That's what the religious scriptures really mean when they talk about resurrection. If only we knew how to see read between the lines, so to speak.